this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over one of these little Trico mini PCs. If you're like me and you're just looking for um, some sort of little mini PC for playing mostly retro gaming, this might be the ticket for you. What I'm going to do for you all in this video is I'm just going to do a little quick unboxing and show you what you get. I've already had this thing out, did the updates, got everything set up because I know how these things are. So I went ahead and did all that last night put it back in the packaging, and I'm gonna show y'all everything you get with it when you get this thing in. So here's the actual PC itself. Check that out. It's the size of my hand right here, everybody. And there's a secret function on this. This is a magnetic door. So you can easily access and update all of the hard drive, update the PC, probably the easiest PC update I've ever seen neodymium magnets hold that on very nice feature to have and I wish more PCs would do that I'll go over the unit more here in a minute let's go ahead and dump out what all you get with this thing because I've already had it out you get your AC adapter right there they give you an HDMI cable some extra screws you can mount it on the back of a monitor so if you've got a monitor you can mount this on the back and have it right there which i might end up doing inside this little kind of office area I got right here you get some um, literature right here kind of like a little user manual so you got a little ribbon cable i guess if you want to add an extra hard drive so let's put all this back in the box here we're not going to need that right now let's go ahead i've got a monitor here i've got a wireless keyboard and i have a mouse i am completely set up to get this thing going so let's go ahead set this thing up then let's do some game and let me show you how nice this thing works but let me go over some of the kind of like ports on this thing you got the power button here you got two USB a inputs a, a USB type C a headphone jack on the front and then on the back you get a display port which is what I have hooked up to my monitor display port and HDMI port two more USB ports so I've got my keyboard which is a wireless Logitech keyboard then I just got one of these little gaming mouse and then there's the DC port then the DC port I have my cord Plug that in right there. I have already set this thing up, have everything ready to go. Let's check out how quickly it comes on. Just mash the button. Let's move the camera up a little bit. You can see right there, it has Trico across the front there. Let me go over some of the specs. So this is a Trico mini PC. It's got an AMD Ryzen 7 5700U inside of it. That's a processor speed on it. 4.3 gigahertz processor, which is pretty impressive for a little tiny mini gaming PC like this. Has 16 gigs of onboard DDR4, uh, DDR4 RAM. It's 512 SSD up to 4K 60 hertz gaming. Now I do have some retro games that I installed Let's pull up some different types of games. I have the Xbox 360 controller. What do we got on here? Look how many games I have. I have so many games on here. I want to play something that you should know how to do that. Check it out. Turn this up. We are set. Look at this, everybody. We have 100% Mario 3. I think that's Y and B, yeah. Now, on these early, on these earlier games like this, I see no issues. Let's turn this down just a little bit. So, as you can see, We've got no issues playing Mario. So these types of games work just fine on here. I think that's the, so if you got an Xbox controller, I've just got to set the input up on the buttons. There we go. They're, they're like that. Now I haven't played this game in a while. So there it is. Y'all see how easy you can play this using like an Xbox controller? I see no issues at all with something like Mario here. Now see, obviously I put it on two players. So let me go out of this. Let's try another game. Let's do like a Castlevania game. How about that? 
Everybody, this runs extremely well on the NES top emulator, Sega Genesis. I'll pull up the Sega Genesis here in a minute. Let's do one more uh, NES game. Check this out. Look how smooth this runs on this. I am so impressed with how smoothly it runs these emulators. So I've got well over 500 different types of emulation games on here. Let's go ahead and get out of this and go back to our main screen. What do we got on Sega Genesis here? Ghostbusters, let's do Golden Axe. So we got Golden Axe playing. <laughs> I haven't played this one in a while either. Pick them up, get out of here. So you can see Sega Genesis, Golden Axe, no problem on that one. Go down, what else we got? Right here, once again, we're running the Sega Genesis version of this. So let's go ahead and try to get through the opening credits. Yep, okay, yeah, press start, good enough. There we go, let's just watch it. I'm obviously not gonna sit here and play it. I'm just showing you guys the hardware and how nice this little Trico will run this thing. Then I, I did download a pretty, um, a more modern game. So I'm gonna show you a good racing game here in a minute. So there's that, okay. Oh, this game is fast moving. You know what, we've got no problem running. I showed you guys running it, just some old school. I did download a newer model game. So games like this is what's really gonna push one of these little mini PCs. Look at how clean this little, like mini PC's running this. Look at this. Super smooth, 60 FPS. You can see right here, there's no problem at all running even a high fast pace, 60 FPS. This is in 4K, well it's 1080p monitor, but it can go up to 4K 60 FPS on this um, little mini PC. And it's really pushing this hardware like to the max, but look at it, look how nice this works. That Ryzen uh, 7 processor, no problem at all running this. Oh, and because it's a PC, you can run, you know, Game Pass. I, I currently don't have Game Pass right now, but I might get it back now that I set this up. What I'm gonna do with this PC is I'm really gonna have it for my uh, TV in my living room. So I have a gaming PC and just kind of like a PC in general hooked up there if I need to look up some stuff. You guys see that? Oh, I got second behind a Lamborghini. So there you go. This is something I think you could easily run like some editing software or any type of like just getting online, random stuff. And then I've got a wireless controller. I just hooked that up and I am good to go. So yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got on the, the Trico, you know, mini gaming PC. See y'all in the next video.